Welcome back to our channel where we love turning what if into oh wow. Today, we've got a builder who's taken the idea of home construction and given it a metallic twist. That's right, folks. He's building a DIY container home from scratch. Grab your hard hats and let's dive in. First things first, every great structure starts with a solid foundation, unless you're a sandcastle enthusiast. Our builder understands that a foundation is not just a fancy word for the bottom part. It's what keeps the house standing during life's little temper tantrums like earthquakes and overly enthusiastic dance parties. Now the plot thickens, or rather, the foundation does, because we're using weathering steel. This isn't your average garden variety steel, it's the superhero of metals. It's strong, weldable, and self-healing. Yes, you heard that right. This steel practically takes itself to the doctor. If it gets a scratch, it rusts a bit, then stops. Thanks to the magic mix of carbon, sulfur, silicon, and a touch of iron, copper, manganese, nickel, and chromium. Think of it as a metal smoothie with extra resilience. With the foundation and the skeletal structure in place, our builder turns his attention to insulation. Ah, insulation, the unsung hero of comfortable living. Picture this, without proper insulation, your home's heating system is like a sieve, leaking warmth faster than a colander drains pasta. And don't get us started on the summer heat invasion. Our builder isn't just slapping any old insulation into his container home. He's using rigid foam board insulation, the VIP of insulating materials. With its high R value, it ensures that your home stays as cozy as a hobbit hole without the need to live underground. This foam board wraps around the house like a warm hug, blocking out cold bridges and preventing pesky air leaks. It's basically the house's version of a thermal onesie.
Now, on to the next exciting step, partitioning. Here, our builder is creating a space for a future bathroom. Because let's face it, even the most minimalist of homes needs a spot for some privacy. And here's a tip. The effectiveness of insulation, measured by its R value, depends on proper installation. A poorly installed insulation is like wearing a sweater with holes. Charming, but not very effective. Wood, as it turns out, isn't just for campfires and trendy furniture. It's also a natural insulator. Thanks to air pockets within its cellular structure, wood is 15 times better than masonry, 400 times better than steel, and 1,770 times better than aluminum at keeping things toasty. Lightweight wood framing is a breeze to install and pairs perfectly with fiber or foil insulation. The result is a home that needs less energy to heat and cool, leaving more money in your pocket for important things, like more DIY projects. With the building snugly insulated, our builder moves on to the next genius idea, floor heating. In South Korea, over 90% of homes feature radiant floor heating known as Ondol. This ancient underfloor heating system has kept Korean toes warm for thousands of years. It's a perfect match for those who follow the tradition of removing shoes indoors. Not only does this practice keep floors cleaner, but it also makes the heating system more effective. Your feet will thank you. As the main room nears completion, our builder shifts his focus to the bathroom. Traditionally, tiles are the go-to for waterproofing bathroom walls, but modern advancements have introduced waterproof wall panels as a stylish alternative. These panels are as effective as tiles and can add a touch of decorative flair to your bathroom. Tile flooring remains a popular choice, offering durability, waterproofing, and a wide array of colors and designs, all at a reasonable price. Fun fact, the average person spends at least 92 days in the toilet over their lifetime. So, our builder ensures that the bathroom is not just functional, but also a pleasant place to be. Once the interior is done, it's time to tackle the final touch, the steps. An elevated house design is not just for show, it's a clever way to protect the home from floods by allowing water to flow beneath and out the other side.
and let's not forget about security. In South Korea, smart locks are the norm. These keypad locks eliminate the need for physical keys, adding a layer of convenience and security. In the end, what emerges is a small but cozy apartment, blending all the comforts of modern living with the beauty of nature. It's warm, secure, and ready to be lived in. Stay tuned for more adventures in innovative home building. And remember, every great DIY project begins with a single step, preferably one with a smart lock at the end.